What is up? We're here in Lark Mountain. Normally we do intros for these videos, but we decided not to because it was freezing cold and there was snow on the ground. Yes. So <laughs> it wasn't quite this cold when we left where we were from, but by the time we got there, we were up in the mountains and there was snow everywhere. So yeah, this is in Wilkes-Barre, uh, Pennsylvania. I think that's how you say it. If I'm wrong, whatever. But a uh, cool place. Mm -hmm. We've never been here before. Decided to check it out and see what kind of cool stuff we could find. And uh, it did not disappoint. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting stuff in here and it's a cool area. It's very scenic. So it was a nice little drive. Yeah, and this was uh, the first time we've checked out this town, so we'll be back to see if there's any other spots up there. But for now, let's take a look at what cool stuff they got. I actually ended up buying this, and I just think it's cute. I collect really, you know, different ornaments, so I did add that to my collection. And buxom melons. <laughs> I know someone with buxom melons. <laughs> And we got some, there's a lot of really cool um, of the popcorn decorations that we saw. There's tons of these. In this episode. Some that we've never even seen before. So definitely stay tuned to check them out. There's some really cool ones coming up, such as that one. Yeah. Some really neat stuff, though, too. Some things in here, um, I know I've said it before, things that at one point were highly collectible. And that's one thing I like to do on the channel is just uh, spotlight things that once upon a time were highly collectible. Because I like that you know, 50s, early 60s. That's that's my, my sweet spot. That's the honey spot, as they mm -hmm. say for me. I like that mid-century era stuff. So even though Hopalong Cassidy, Davy Crockett, stuff like that's not the, the most collected or desirable thing now, I still think it's pretty cool to see because at one point, those were kids' heroes back in the day. And uh, I think it's neat looking at that stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. A and much simpler time. Yes. <laughs> I miss Viewmasters. I, I loved those when I was a kid. Viewmasters. Uh... Not necessarily the Gunsmoke one. That was yeah, no. Little... I was going to say, Before wait. Before my time. A <laughs> little bit. A <laughs> little bit. De decades. Some more Davy Crockett stuff. And I love little tin things on tricycles. Oh, no doubt. And I didn't realize that I loved them until you pointed out how cool they were. And I'm like, you know what? You're on something. Tin toys have a lot of personality. That's what it is about the tin toys. When you see them, there's just something about them. I, I know a lot of them were made in Japan, so they were... Like, uh, not caricatures, that's not the right term, but it's how the Japanese saw Americans. So yeah. we, they have a very unique look to them that uh, no other toys have. And I think that's why I just love the, uh, the tin stuff so much. Plus it's cool. And the fact that it still survives. And a lot of times these toys were made so well that they still work. You can still wind up a lot of that early stuff. Mm. And... And it works. And that's crazy because you can buy a toy today and it's it's broken tomorrow. Yes. Now, this was cool. This is a um, Telco Motionette. We normally don't see them this size. Normally see like the little tabletop ones. But this one was huge. And that was a probably a pretty good buy, but I just don't have room for it. <laughs> yeah, no, we're out of space. That was uh, one of the 20, 24 inch ones, I think. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. And somebody's going to find that and love it. This is cool. Donald Duck and the Witch Next Door. See, there she is. Witchy Mim, Poo. Mim, Madam, or, not Witchy oh, Poo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Witchy Poo is the one that's... <laughs> that's H.R. Puff and yeah, stuff. Yeah, my right? bad. Come on, man. Yes. What are you but doing? then there's Witch Hazel in the Trick or Treat cartoon. Oh. So a lot of witches around Donald. And there's the Superman trash can. So you can put your super trash in it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you had any super trash. But there's some interesting stuff in this case right here. Um, that's, uh, I think it's Dragon Riders of the Sticks. I Jeez. believe is the name of uh, those figures right there, the little devil guy and a couple of Dungeons and Dragons figures. Neat stuff, figures you don't normally see. I mean, priced accordingly, of course. Yeah. But uh, stuff you don't normally see. It's Buck. Buck Rogers and a hidden Famous Monsters magazine yes. back there. And he's standing like he has been waiting in line for the bathroom <laughs> at a concert for about 45 minutes. That looked like you at the Misfits show right there. That was you at the Riot Fest. <laughs> no, I, in the fetal position, crying is a little more accurate. Some, oh, kind of like that, maybe. Some imperial dinosaurs. That was me at the beginning of Riot Fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely you right And this there. was me after. <laughs> yeah. And that was me, I don't know. But this was really cool. This actually, you know, kind of bears a slight resemblance to Santo. And we absolutely love those movies, so it was really cool to see that. Yeah, it was neat. I always like looking in the cases, too, just to see, you know, you never know what you're going to see in there. Yeah, especially ones like this where they're kind of, like, jam-packed and there's a billion things in them. Yeah. Because you could just stand there and look at it for a while and usually, see stuff. Usually, yeah, usually when I'm looking in these cases, I'm looking for, like, little uh, monster gumball rings mm -hmm. or... Uh, 
you know, just, just little trinkets, as they say. It's a great place to find neat trinkets, for sure. And this was cool. I actually didn't notice this until the footage, and I loved Beetlejuice when I was a kid, so that's really cool to see. Yeah, something different, something you don't normally see. Yeah. There was some really neat stuff in this booth here, um, like this, of course. King yeah, I Kong. love those. Yeah, I know you're a big fan of them. And then um, up on the wall here, there's a, a really neat Green Hornet soundtrack album, which is pretty cool. You know, Green Hornet used to be super, super, super collectible, and it still is. Don't get me wrong. There are still Green Hornet collectors, but it's not as collected as it once was, even though I think it's great stuff. The market's a little soft on it. Yeah. Same thing with Battlestar Galactica. There's still some some collectors out there for it, but it's a softer market than, uh, than it used to be. It's a shame. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing. You know, things get generationed out. I say it a lot on the channel, and um, while it's still collected, I mean, certain things, you know, you like we always discuss Davy Crockett and all the Hopalong Cassidy stuff is, is uh, not as collected as it was. And unfortunately, if these things don't translate time, that's what happens. It, less and less collectors out there uh, looking to add the stuff to their collections. It's sad. It's just some things don't carry over. Ghostbusters... Yeah, those some, are great. Yeah, there's some really neat stuff in this booth right here. Chuck Norris's Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I wonder if Chuck still has that Corvette. I wonder if he ever even had it. He had it in the cartoon. I don't know if Chuck Norris had a Corvette. <laughs> Somebody out there let me know. Did Chuck Norris have a Corvette? I don't know, but he did in the cartoon. And then those. Yeah, those definitely rattle the nostalgia. <laughs> oh, I mean, those, those uh, the McDonald's Transformers, forget it, crazy. That was a, a big thing when you were a kid. I mean, that was one of the coolest McDonald's toys ever. Yeah, I love those. I thought they were neat. I've never seen that before. Boot Nicks. I know. I don't know, like the Monster Nicks and the, there's troll ones, but I forget what they're called, but they're yeah. cool. I've never seen those before. Those boot Nicks. Cowboy. Cowboy <laughs> Nicks. <laughs> I like, look, you know, looking around in the little bins of stuff, too. You never know what you're going to find. Yeah. If these had been original, it would have been a jackpot. Yeah, it would have. You would have <laughs> couldn't pay for them fast enough. Yeah. Some early mid-century paper here. Love that. That's so cool. Isn't that great? It's great box art. It's so good. That that box art is amazing. Those are cool. I wish I had, you know, I mean, if I was a millionaire, I'd be the worst millionaire ever because my house would look like a hoarder house. Just yeah. cool stuff everywhere. <laughs> but unfortunately. Piles and piles of cool stuff. Unfortunately, that's not the case, so I can only add certain things. <laughs> this was cool. That was a car receipt, $179 for a car. So, like brand new. Jeez. Like 1932 or something. Can't even it? get like a, one of them little kid ride-on <laughs> cars for that anymore. There's Hot Wheels worth more than that. Yeah, right? That's cute. Little Crayola things, yeah. I like the artwork. Yeah, there's neat stuff in here. Mm. I love bins like this. Jack Dempsey's Broadway Restaurant Bar. That's yeah. neat. And it was cheap. Ten yeah. cents for something. Can't buy none I for know. ten if cents. If we could just go back to these prices, that would be great. <laughs> it's a Pepsi that's bank cool. bag. Yep. And being right near Scranton, that's really cool to see. Some Nixon was not the one. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a... But you see a lot of uh, political propaganda in these stores, too. So it's interesting to see those. But these I love. Um, love looking at the old bottles. You normally don't see them with the liquid still in them, though. Yeah, this was a serious collection right here. Yeah. That's the thing is, you know, like what we were just looking at, a lot of people used to collect stuff like this, you know, political stuff. Soda. I like that. I didn't stamps. see Stamps. What, the a &W Bear? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would have made you buy that if I'd seen it. It's probably a good thing. We have all these root beer mugs we don't use. <laughs> oh, you use them. I know. I love root beer. Yeah, you do. Especially root beer floats. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But That's the, crazy. All this, neat. Yeah. all this soda still in it. There's some brands that I'd never even seen prior to this also, which was cool to see. Yeah, that Jack Frost one caught my attention. Oh, that's awesome. I thought that was neat. I love that logo. Yeah, that's I mean, how really great cool. is that? That logo is phenomenal. Ultimus is a little mascot. Yeah. You know what it had I great swear one. if it had a little mascot on it, I probably would have wound up buying that bottle. Yeah. Got home and said, why did I buy this bottle? But... And then, like, you end up dropping it in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic vampire ad right there. Ah. 
That's awesome. That's the original ad, but there's a, a great vampire one. This I thought was interesting. A Sears computer garage hmm. from way before we had computers. So it's weird <laughs> that a kid would have wanted to play with that. Yeah, I mean, maybe it just seemed futuristic and exciting. There's my favorite Bay City Rollers album. Bay City Rollers are cool. That's like the that. one with You Made Me Believe in Magic on it, which is my favorite Bay City Rollers song. It's a great song. It's a great song. Snarf. Snarf. And a little King Kong monster neck. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. Now, these kind of things crack me up, because this is the kind of stuff that you see on Antiques Roadshow, and people are like, oh, I just <laughs> bought it in an antique shop, and uh, you know, I thought I'd bring it down here to see what it's worth, and then you find out it's worth like $2 million. Like, George Washington painted it while he was crossing the Delaware. It's like, yeah, I know. I just walked right by it. These are cool to see, though. <laughs> that Jaws 2 one's awesome. I see that one a lot. I see the, there must have been a warehouse finder. They just didn't sell many of them because I see that Jaws 2 box. like Not as much as the uh, the the barf bag, Mark of the Devil barf oh, bag, but it, I see it a lot. Apparently no one barfed because all of those bags are still <laughs> available and in the antique stores. Ninja Turtle cookies. I remember those. Who, who kept that seal, though? Like, how did you, like, avoid uh, not eating I would the cookies? definitely eat the cookies. And here's the cookie crisp, because I also would have eaten. But I remember having one of those bowls when I was a kid. That was awesome. And there's the uh, Batman cereal box that you also see at every single yeah. antique store. There's your dad after a long Saturday night. There he is. No <laughs> pants on. No pants. These are really cool. I don't know if they're... I'm, they probably... Are they repros? I don't know, but they're really cool nonetheless. No, I think I most the of them were original. Wow. They're in incredible yeah, shape. I think most of them. Some of them I'm not sure on. Like that space yeah. target I'm not sure on. But most of these are originals. But they're absolutely beautiful. That one is. The Dick Tracy one is. And... Mm. Yeah, this particular booth had a lot of cool like dartboard um, targets, rather. And they really have some great artwork on them. Yeah, I was hoping the Frankenstein one would be here. I but... know. It's like the glaring omission. Well, it wasn't. But that would have been cool. Or maybe it was and somebody got it. Yeah, I have a feeling it might have been here at one point, or they just knew to, like, sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> but these are just really cool to see. That's a cool one right there. Yeah. Right there. That yeah, that one. one's great. That one's amazing. I know, I love just, like, that Space Age art. It's the best. I know there's a 10 XL5 that's worth a lot of money. Ooh. Really, really cool. That's awesome. This is neat. This is actually a vintage... I don't know from when, but definitely a vintage Cat in the Hat puppet, which was really neat to see. Okay, well, I guess it was uh, 1970. <laughs> I guess I could see it a lot better now than I did in person. And I know you're a big Dr. Seuss fan. Well, The Grinch. You love The Grinch. It's one of your favorite Christmas specials ever. Yes, the animated special is definitely one of my favorites. It's, of course, narrated by Boris Karloff, who I've loved since I was very little. And The Grinch, you know, it's a good story. You know, he comes around. There's some good songs in it. Uh, trim up the tree, welcome Christmas, and it, those songs bring me right back to childhood. And so. if you ever ride in the car with Amy around Christmas time, she sings along to those songs. Don't let her kid you, no matter what I she try. says, she loves it. I don't know the words, I'll be Felix. honest. Felix. I love Felix. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cool too, the Jokers. Oh, these make great wall art. I can see why people would buy these and just hang them on the wall. They're just amazing. Yeah, have like a cool game room set up with all these. It'd look amazing. There's Hopalong Cassidy. Mm. Robin Hood. My dad loved Robin Hood. He showed me that when I was a kid. I wasn't feeling it, but he was. That's that's his time right <laughs> like, there. I don't know, Dad. My dad would show me a lot of amazing stuff. I saw some great things because of my dad, but then I saw some things he, he really tried to push, and I just didn't get it. Wizard of Oz was one of them. I okay. don't I don't connect to the Wizard of Oz. It's Funny thing anything. is, I loved Wizard of Oz when I was little. Yeah, well. It didn't carry over into adulthood for me, but when I was little, I had like these fake plastic ruby slippers, and I would clink around <laughs> in the house with them. They had like those little plastic heels. Yeah, I drove everyone nuts and that's, had a billion blisters. That's a very you thing. Yeah. I've been gaudy since day one. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff in this case here. A lot oh, of yeah. cool 70s toys. A lot of really neat pieces in here. And uh, I had to I had to look a, a bunch of times because there was stuff underneath things and, and uh, just to see if there was anything cool to buy in here. And it turns out that there was something cool in this case. Yes. That and came home. <laughs> the poor... <laughs> Women who worked here had to go through about a billion keys to open this case for yeah. us. So we thank them for their determination, but we did spot something here that we picked up. And maybe you just did too. Yeah. <laughs> did you spot it? 
<laughs> Did anything jump out at All you? All this build-up. Where is it? Is it the Maskatron? Is it Oscar Goldman? Is it Oscar the Grouch? <laughs> Is it, is it was definitely Oscar. Is garage. it Vincent the robot? Is it Jiminy, Jiminy Cricket? Cricket? Is it that mash truck? What is it? Is it this shredder thing from Burger King? <laughs> I think it is. God, the buildup is insane here. What is it? Is well, it Skeletor? All about anticipation. <laughs> your but your wife, wife called and said you could buy anything you want. So this is what you bought. There it is. <laughs> a magnetic robin. That was a really good price for that. That's a tough figure to find complete with all the parts. And uh, so for that price, that was that was definitely a drag deal. Yes. And this is really cool. I've never seen the Popeye one. Yeah, I love those old uh, record players. Mm. Here's some more cool bottles. I like that Lollipop one. I've never seen that brand before. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, there's bottles in every antique store. Every you know? single one. But, you know, you look for the cool ones and... It's just nice seeing different regional stuff, too. Yeah, definitely. I would imagine, you know, you go far away from here, you'll see completely different, you know, bottles and brands and stuff. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of companies uh, right in Pennsylvania, obviously, that you'll see at these places. But we want to know which ones you have back home. Comment those so we can check them out. Yeah, I, I know now not to say I wonder if they make these sodas anymore because you guys let me know that all of these sodas are still being made which is cool because i want to try them all yes so which is good news so now we're on a mission to give them a try i'll try uh i'll try anything once twice, twice <laughs> i heard that I about like you <laughs> <laughs> people spreading rumors a little bit all right so there's some some interesting stuff in here some this starsky and hutch yep Migos, starsky and hutch a Joker and, uh, glass. The Joker glass I don't see too often. The Riddler one I see a lot, but the Joker one was kind of obscure. I don't really see that one very often. No. And that's kind of neat. Um, you know, the little carnival mirrors are cool to see. And a kiss one nonetheless. Then that's awesome. The little ice cream truck. Paul Star on the wrong eye. <laughs> very common <laughs> error. <laughs> There's some cool robots over in here too. That book isn't one of them. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um you're going to get some comments about that. Yeah, I know. I love old old robots. I got a few, though. I got a few spots. cool tin tin robots. Yeah, um, you have some, actually a pretty impressive... I've got some cool It's ones. a small collection, but it's impressive. Yeah, some really... Some nice popey robots. But I like that syrup bottle. Yeah, well, you, you've been wanting those for a while. Yeah, I'm going to have to get those. I think that's going to be an upcoming purchase. All right, so we're here... On uh, the back streets of Scranton, Pennsylvania. To check out what? The cool antique store. And if you're a fan of the office, a lot of <laughs> office stuff around here. So yeah. Let's go see what they have. All right. So we're here at a place called On and On. On and On Marketplace. Let's check it out. What they got? Cool old car in the front. Mm -hmm. I like that. The place looks huge. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Right off the bat, Elfgren on the wall. I love this artwork. Some of my favorite artwork ever. The Halloween one, the Christmas one. That stuff is just so iconic. I love classic pinups and classic pinup culture and uh because I'm Italian. What do you want from me? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's why I like you. Oh, thank you. Know, you know, you little pinup doll you. Um, yeah, so here we are inside checking this place out for the first time. We hadn't been to the store before, um, but it looked pretty cool. And there's a moo cow creamer. That is so neat. So that's a good sign of something cool being in here. And uh, it's a big place. Um, yeah, it's like an big, old mill. Yeah, big variety of stuff. And so we decided, hey, let's take a look and, and see what we can find. Yeah, it's a really nice place. It's one of those kind of, uh, you know, newly refurbished old mill buildings that have converted into an antique store. And it's got, you know, great atmosphere and some really cool vendors. Yeah, and I want to give a special shout out to the antique stores that actually take the time to make sure that the, the stores smell good. Yes, because it takes nothing for antiques to smell musty, dusty, and crusty. But this place is one of the few that really takes time to make it smell good in there. And yeah. we thank you for that. Absolutely. And uh, that's that's a great thing for your shopping experience is to 
um, not be smelling mold or anything like that. And this store yeah. did not disappoint. Yes. This is great, Casper. Um, that thing was in great shape. And 25 bucks for that's actually a pretty good price. Yeah, and great artwork. Yeah. That's a 40 to $50 thermos all day long. That's a great record. Yes, it is. Sean Cassidy under I love me some Sean Cassidy. <laughs> we went and saw him a couple Christmases because ago. He's, he's great. he's phenomenal. He's the I best. I don't care what my mother says. He's by far the superior Cassidy. And if none of you out there agree with me, I don't care because I'm right. Sean Cassidy rules. I know how you feel. My mom is also team David Cassidy. But it's okay for them to both be wrong. Murder. Murder for Christmas. That's what happens talking like that. You get murder for Christmas. It's weird how they had the light up Taz in here because the store before this we went to had the Tweety. Yeah, and we've never seen either. Yeah. This is super cute. Snoopy I love bank. old Snoopy stuff. It's so cute. Yeah. Some pretty cool stuff. Um Snoopy, another thing. There used to be a lot of Snoopy collectors. That's yeah. another one, another market that's gotten a little soft in recent years. I know. It's a shame. And you think just the fact that they cover every single holiday imaginable would keep it going. Mm. I mean, there's still, you know, there's still collectors for it, but it's yeah. a little soft. Um, That's neat. The Donald Duck nightlight. I oh, remember that is cute. my mom had one of those. My a mom Donald had one? one? Of those. Yeah, that exact one. And oh, wow. I remember her putting it in my room when I was a kid, so Aww. it was cool to see that. Sometimes you gravitate towards stuff like that. I know. Those are cute. The I know, like I'm doing them. with those snowmen right now. I know. I want to go back and buy it now. I don't know what I was thinking. Now snowmen are great. I know. See, we do this every time. We watch these back, and as we're doing our commentary, and we're like, why didn't we buy that? Oh, damn. I like that snowman. I know. There's a lot of great Christmas stuff in this particular one. And I know that not everybody, you know, feels the same way about Christmas. But one thing about Christmas I think that a lot of us can agree on is that the nostalgia that seeing stuff like this brings is just priceless. I have a tremendous love for mid-century era Christmas stuff. There is something so perfect about mid-century Christmas decorations and displays and trees and ornaments and I love that stuff so much. I don't know. I was born in the wrong era. No doubt about it. Me too. You know, I feel like a fish out of water most of the time because I go into these places and I'm like, wow, I love all this stuff and it's all like 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And this was cool to see. This was a box only, of course, a Dracula Aurora model kit box. Pretty good condition, not a bad price, but yeah. we already have one. Yeah. So we Priced figured. Fairly. Yeah. If anybody is still looking for that, go check it out. That's it. Go get it. Now you know where to find one. <laughs> and it's cool to visit Scranton, too. Uh, just make sure it's not going to snow, because snow up there is pretty serious. This is crazy, because normally it's attached to the cereal still, but there's actually a Batman bank that has detached itself <laughs> from the cereal box. Yeah, very rare to see that. That, I love. I love those things. Yeah. That was another one I remember. Like, I can feel it and, like, hear it on my head. Like, I just love those. That's yeah. cool, too. Yeah. I've got the Batman one of those. Really? Mm hmm That's awesome. I love these little, like, vintage monkey toys. I think they're adorable. I like that as well. It's That's Woody. something I'd buy to, like, put on the Christmas tree. It's Woody Woodpecker. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and this was cool how they did the steps with the um, the license plates. This cracked me up, too. Please be good. Jesus, E.T., and cameras are watching you. Yep. That's probably the best <laughs> surveillance notice that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so don't steal, kids. Because e. either E.T., Jesus, or the cameras. <laughs> they covered all bases yeah. there. Yeah, it's like no matter what you believe in, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, <laughs> don't do Don't take it. stuff. That's right. Don't be a jerk. I'm really bummed I didn't get that plush snowman. He was cool. Well, I, I would have had to buy both of them at that point. I know. You can't you, it's one his friend. Guy. They've yeah. probably been together forever. I know, probably <laughs> 70 years. I know, I think we got to go back and get it. Dude, I want those. Well, I'm sure we'll be up this way again soon enough. And we'll go get our snowmen. That's cool. Unless somebody wants to go pick them up for us. <laughs> yes, please. Let us know. We'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're like $1,000 each, then we're going to have to tap out. I got a feeling they're not. No, probably not. <laughs> I have started accumulating, though, a little collection of mid-century Christmas stuff. I know you started with the ornaments. That's been your big thing is the ornaments. But I got a thing for, like, little weird Rossboro-style Christmas things and little tin Santas and um, 
So it's you've it's, been picking up a lot of the Christmas plush, the mid-century Christmas plush too. Yeah, it's not a it's not a rabbit hole. I'm not jumping in, going crazy. He always says it before he jumps. I'm down not. The rabbit hole. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's but, like uh, borderline Alice in Wonderland at this point. It's not happening. But a couple cool pieces here and there for a little cool mid-century Christmas shelf, and that. That was in every guy's garage in the 80s and the early 90s. Yep. Well, I mean, in, you know, because that's that's that's, cool that's the fantasy at the end of the day. But for some and of us... Snap-on tools thought so as well. For some of us, you get to live the reality. <laughs> or at least you did for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, boy. Jmar puzzles. Yes. Now, if that's... only that had been one of the monster ones. I know, right? But, nope, it was one of the hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Rosbro snowman. Yes, I love those. This is cool, an old mousetrap. Early, early mousetrap. I remember I had, like, the one of my time, and I found that pretty pretty amusing. Oh, mousetrap was one of the best board games ever. Oh, definitely. I remember I used to, like, my parents would always have their friends over for parties, and, of course, they'd be drinking and... I didn't understand that when I was a kid. I just thought everybody was actually really wanting to play board games with me. So we would play Mousetrap a nice. lot of times. And you know what? I won most of those games. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody was drunk. My my uh, my brother had those Ninja Turtle slippers. It I, was cool to see those because as soon as I seen them, I was like, man, I remember him having them. I remember somebody having them. Maybe one of my brothers had them or I may have even had them too because I loved Ninja Turtles. There's the van down there. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was something I had forgotten about right until that exact moment. And then I was like, I could visually see him with those slippers on. So that's one of the best things about the antique stores, I think. Shout out to my brother right there. (laughs) That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, I mean, it's cool because sometimes you'll just see like these dumb little things and they take you right back. That's it. That's, that's half the reason I go. Yeah, it's like even sometimes because I know a lot of people think that it's just about going to buy things and part of it is and it's really cool to pick up something you've been looking for for a while. But sometimes it's just about getting that little dose of nostalgia. Yeah, we're explorers. That's kind of like our thing. Like it's not so much about like flipping and reselling on this channel. It's more about, you know, exploring and uh, time traveling and just uh, simpler times and fun stuff and and uh, seeing things you just don't normally see. Because let's face it, uh, you know, most most people live in the same cookie-cutter thing everybody else does with the Targets and Walmarts and McDonald's and all the same stuff. And it's like, in order to disconnect from that and go back and see, you know, how things used to be and, and unique stuff, you got to go to antique stores. Where else are you going to see cool things like that Santa popcorn guy on the wall, you know? Yeah, and it's cool because it's like, it, A, it keeps a lot of stuff out of landfills. Yes. That's cool. It recycles things and it, it, you know, it gives things, you know, a whole new chance. Well, of course, your dad has to yeah. pop up at all times. Yeah, like, a, you know, a new home for stuff. Yeah. You know, it's great that these things get a second life like this. Like, that's great. That that Rosbro Santa, I mean, a uh, snowman is amazing. Yeah. And at one point, somebody else thought that was amazing 50, 60 years ago. And now somebody new will see it and love it just as much. And yep. I, I love that. There's something there's something almost magical about that, you know, just letting things have new lives. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And, you know, it's just good to get out of the house once in a while and go look for cool stuff. And we like going to these and showing you guys because sometimes we might find something in a store that you've been looking for for a while. And you might be local. And there's been so many times that people have come up to us and be like, that's so cool that you posted that video, I saw something I've been looking for, and then I went to the store and I picked it up. And that's awesome. We didn't even realize that was going to happen at Yeah, first. we love that. We love that. So if, if we've been able to do that for you, that's great. Let us know, because we love that. Yes, and definitely share your stories with us. We're, you know, It's really cool to find out that we were able to help you guys find some cool stuff. And I think that was Wilma's mom right there or something. <laughs> Not familiar with <laughs> that one. I don't remember her, but I think it was. And uh, now all the antique stores have little vinyl sections. This is a common thing you see, like uh, people are, you know, cassettes and vinyl and 8-tracks in most of the antique stores. Uh, Do you collect vinyl? Do you collect uh, 8-tracks? Let me know. What's what's the stuff you look for? Is it Van Halen cover onlys for 25 bucks? Let me know. So we're still here in Scranton, checking this place out now, Central Station. Let's go see what they got. 
So we only had a few minutes left before the store closed, so we wanted to get in and see what we could before everything closed. And uh, right off the bat, there was some cool, uh, cool vintage aluminum Christmas tree. These are super collectible. I love seeing those, and this is so cute. Yeah, and it's a really good price on that too. That gingerbread guy, fifty-five bucks, is actually a really good price for that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's Santa judging you for not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> old school santa that's the thing for this uh for the next few weeks you're gonna start seeing a lot more of this christmas stuff i i don't know it's 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 doing something to me lately the i know we're we're hitting a <laughs> christmas spot. nostalgia that we weren't expecting and we're trying to figure out what to do with it i know supposed to be the the creepy monster kids and i'm like look at this snowman how adorable is this santa <laughs> I know something something happened in the last year. It got like visited by three ghosts or something. I don't know. It's got to be what it is. That's some... a good price for that Stay Puff too. Yeah, good prices in here. Yeah, there's some reasonable prices. Party Ken with his ladies. Yes, all Charlie's, all three Charlie's Angels. Yep, I'm surprised they weren't with Ken. That's cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this I had never seen before. That was the first time I'd ever seen a popcorn sports one. Yeah, this store actually had two popcorn decorations that we've never seen before. That one and another one that's coming up. Yeah. That's awesome. I love those. Oh, the mascots. And Santa on a tricycle. Now, this would have been a Drac deal right here. This was close. I had to pick it up and inspect it because if it was the original, that was coming home. But it turned out that it wasn't. It's actually a later one uh, reproduction of that. And that's the thing with these Santas is uh, you got to really check to see where they're made and that one's actually original that glowing santa right there That's that was cool. an original but that tricycle one was a later reissue of the original so mm. i left him he was not a drag deal but i am looking for the original one of that santa on the trike that's always been one of my favorite favorite things and uh now they're doing creature from the black lagoon on the trike yes that is a uh, cool super seven thing that they came out with recently and hopefully we'll be adding one to the collection. If you know where one of the green ones is, I need let us know. One. That one's awesome, the Pink Panther one. That was the other popcorn one you said that you hadn't seen before. Yeah, like, the, we've been seeing a lot of new ones lately, and that one was really cool to see. I like Pink Panther. This toy was bought at Corvette's, which was a classic toy store back in the day. Well, I think it was a department store. I think okay. Corvette's was a department store. Um, but they must have had a really cool toy section, because I do see a lot of toys that still have that on it, them tags. Mm. And Santa, of course, has always been really synonymous with soda or pop or cola advertising. Um, yeah, the Coca-Cola Santa is like, that's yeah. literally Coca -Cola the Coca-Cola kind of just like, everyone step back, he's ours. He's, yeah. They kind of own Santa. Case in point. I mean, there he is. That's, you think of Santa, that's what you think of. That sounds like a bad idea. The spun glass. <laughs> this is cool. This is actually very vintage. And it almost came home with me. <laughs> I breathed myself. I didn't buy it. Some cool Barbie stuff over here. And who's that? Is that Batman? It is, in fact, Batman. Now it says that because that's also sold in the Canadian market. Oh, okay. So when you see the puzzles that have that. I always said, when I was a kid, I was like, why does this Kiss Love Gun puzzle say cassette on it? It's a puzzle. I know. Your brain is like, that says cassette. I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> brain. Brain's like, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> so that's why. And even though it looks like I'm pointing at Penthouse. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm actually pointing at the VHS tape. Oh, this is the wrong channel. I know. But it's cool to see some classic Thundercats. And this was cool, the He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. Yeah. The That's little, a great one. The little kid in this episode looks exactly like I used to look like when I was a little kid. Because it is you. I know. It really does look like me. Mm -hmm. Ninja Turtle Blimp. That's always cool. Inflated. Important, important to see, you know, that that's a tough piece to sell because mm. it's inflated and people want to see that it's inflated and doesn't have a hole. But at the same time, somebody you don't know put their mouth on it. Yeah. So now what? <laughs> and if you want to transport it easily by deflating it, you may have to put your mouth on it again at some point. So there's definitely a very, uh, ugh, I'm a germaphobe. I couldn't handle it. So. <laughs> big dumper truck <laughs> i'd never seen this before that Fa uh, faudini or fudini, fudini whatever never saw that before i guess that's the first time i'd ever seen that game that's cool and so is the adams family game that's great box art that's an early that transagram really cool. uh you know and transagram of course famous for the green ghost game oh, um, yeah. was doing glow in the dark stuff and this is from the same time period as green ghost and um 
It did a little hocus pocus. Great box though. Yeah, awesome, no, that's great. Awesome it's in great artwork. shape. That and seems like, really reasonable. I like how the kids are glowing too. I know, right? <laughs> that was Glowing. just radium. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, they got rid of that in the seventies. It should be okay. <laughs> They're good. Don't worry about it. They're good. He's that came from the sixties, though. So, mm, okay, maybe it is uranium. <laughs> got uh, Earl Sinclair there holding it down. Yours till Niagara Falls. Yeah, I don't know what happens in that book. It's a weird book. There he is. There he is. He's always there. He's got the yabba dabba. Food fighters. Those are great. Those I love cool. food fighters. I love those. Yeah, Such they're cool. funny little. Yeah, cool little figures. <laughs> and then the hot dog one. I used to love the hot dog one when I was little. Cool piece. They are cool. And the French fry guy. <laughs> I think every kid had the French fry guy. Oh, yeah. You see them all the time, too. But, yeah, there's a, a lot of cool 80s nostalgia over here. That's neat. And of course, our pal Ready Kilowatt. And there's two of them in their cookie cutters. What's better than that? And a Trans Am belt buckle. Some poor Italian guy out there is missing his belt buckle. What do you know about that, Amy? Too much, but I can't say. I mean, look, you can't go wrong with pretzels. You, you can't go wrong with yeah. pretzels. These look delicious. Even if there's nothing else to buy in there, they get you with the pretzels on the way out. That's like right. It. That's right. And these are homemade, too. 